Hey, hey. <laughs> You're out in the garage with the Easy Jeezy. Man, it's gonna be another summer full of rabbits, I can see. Well, today kinda turned out to be a bust. Uh, been working my hiney off trying to get videos up for you guys, and uh, I went to, uh, we've had this crazy wind in the afternoons the last few days, and I was thinking about going out for a nice long ride, and I took the uh, tub buggy out, and was enjoying my new carb tune and my extra five pounds of oil pressure. Read a few comments and for, for my regular view, viewers, even though this is out of sequence, what I ended up doing on mine since I had just changed the oil <clears throat> and put a half a bottle of that zinc in my oil, I just, I didn't want to dump it. I was thinking, well, maybe if I dumped it into a clean uh, bucket or something I could dump it back in and I don't know it was such a messy deal trying to get that old piston out and I just measured it up real quick and I found a piston that was like a thousand smaller so I got to looking at this and another question came up so you guys get the you guys get the bonus fuse I got this wire sticking in there for there's a top there's a top discharge hole let's call it that now interestingly enough that brass in that lifter bore inside the lifter bore is it flicking back and forth at you oh. see that down in there that's the dump hole okay and then there's another hole right down here at the bottom oh that didn't help any let's see if I can find that one pull that one out and then just above just above the, th the threaded part You've got another hole here at the bottom of the shaft that dumps right down in the crankcase. So, there at the top, that's nice to look at as well. I was hoping to get it in the sun here. Uh, let's see. So you can see the hole there, and you can see this cylinder, and you can see that there's some caked in stuff there and I guess if your engines neglected and so forth then it'll uh, give you problems so it doesn't really call out what it is but I took the old piston out and oil was flowing out the whole time probably through that bottom hole as well as the main oil galley and stuff but I you know I just sort of you know I took one that was like a thousand smaller I just happened to get lucky and I, I put it in there and somebody mentioned that they had one that had been drilled out and they had a sleeve put in there and I'm looking at the side of this now you've got to have that lower hole uh, in the vent because otherwise it'd be like hydro locking if, if there wasn't a place for that oil where the spring is at the bottom of the piston you know it, the, if it got full of oil because of it leaking around and so forth, the piston wouldn't be allowed to move. So they've got that relief hole on, underneath the spring, plus the relief hole to the side that goes into that. It doesn't go into the lifter bore. It goes into that drain back hole. But nonetheless, and what it cautioned, another thing it cautioned about is that, uh, man, it's warm out there, is that... Uh, if you get an excessive amount of oil pressure in your system that it you'll consume oil because it's spraying all over the place uh, wherever it can it's you know your connecting rods and um, mains and there's there's a lot of turbulence a lot of stuff splashing around there and you've got that oil scraper ring on the bottom of your piston and if you've just got a free-for-all too much oil pressure going everywhere I guess it just it can't handle all that extra work um what was it uh, oh it also said if you can't get it out with the puller or if it's stuck in there you could use a 10 millimeter tap or a 3 8 for the fractional size and I would think that you'd have to have longer than normal tap that's uh, that's all the way up there. Well, maybe there'd be some 
sticking out. So you might be able to turn it, but if it's spinning in there and just got a lot of junk on it, it even says be extremely careful when inserting the springs so that you don't scratch the sleeve. Are you kidding me? This one uh, was out of a single relief case, an old 1300. Look at all the scratches on that. I mean, that thing's had a hard life. Look at all the pitting. That thing, that thing looks... <laughs> It's had a real hard life, but anyhow, I thought I'd I just thought I'd follow that up and give you guys uh, a little update on that. And uh, just like all of my videos, there's always extra things that I think of later, and I'll go out and remake the video over and over. And at at some point in the editing and stuff, it just it just overwhelms my little brain so it's like all right i gotta pick one of these things and a lot of times i don't know that i missed something until you guys start asking questions and i try to leave honest detailed answers where i can so anyhow i think uh now normally on a friday night at five o'clock we'd be at one of our hangouts uh with the car guys you know and just sort of hanging out there. I think we'll just take out Valerie and see if we can find the gang. Man, this this case is, is solid gold. It's junk, but it is such a great learning teaching tool for myself. How about that? First check, first stop. Closest one to home. And uh, full turnout. Nobody's wearing masks. Hoods are up. Good to see the old gang. We'll just kind of maybe uh, do a walkthrough. You guys haven't haven't been out this year, so I'll just make it short and sweet. I'm Love that green. Coyote duster. Man, that's sweet. Road runner. God, that thing is clean. Clean and pristine. <laughs> that looks that's a long handled gifter. That's for kicking back. Nice. Even the floor mats. The judge. Yep, people got them all polished up and they're sick of being cooped up. Probably the same group, so I'm just. Maybe we'll get the camera out another time this summer, but I know that's not really what you guys come to my channel for. Boy, these, why are these gear shift levers catching my eye? <laughs> a pistol grip on a Hurst. Oh, look at that. Gold, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Tired of being cooped up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think there'd be anybody show up. Like I didn't either. I just thought, well, I'm going to get out of town. Out yeah. Of house, That's, I thought the same thing. Something big. Air conditioning. <laughs> Disc brakes. Look at those wheels, man. Thank you. Don't go for 
I'm surprised those aren't pop-out windows. Maybe they are. No. Sonic, I I told there's nobody there. Hiding back there. There's a little corona spider right there by her foot. <laughs> Pretty nice looking Bronco you got here, sir. What? Thank you. Uh, 1970. A 1970. 302. It's had four barrel headers, duals, and a bit up, uh, upgraded lift kit, suspension, and a five-speed transmission. So wow. runs out pretty good. Looks like fun. It's got nice gauges, and it's not a new build, but it was restored some years ago. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you had that special install, didn't you? You, know, you like you like this modern rap music, don't you? Somebody must have. You get to get to get this thing buzzing when you get out there in the wilderness. Yeah, just what you need. Get out there in the wilderness and blast out. Yeah, let's wake up some rattlesnakes here. You know. Throw some seventies. Oh, that's on, funny. Just to be period correct. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's a clean machine. And it gets used too, that's what's nice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for serving. Easy jeezy, out.